Hey, welcome back to the Hennecast YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be showing you my reaction to the 2016 Oscar nominations from seven years ago. Uh, keep in mind, I don't have as good quality, you know, cameras or microphones as I do currently. And I was still trying to get used to being on camera and I'm still just as stuttery as ever, which hopefully I've tried to, you know, edit out most of the stuttering. Also, there's not a lot of big freakouts because that was, you know, before I used the YouTube algorithm to my advantage. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, on to the video. We For Best Original Song, the nominees are Earned It from Fifty Shades of Grey Manta Ray from Racing Extinction Simple Song Number 3 from Youth Come on. Till It Happens to You from the hunting ground. Oh, come on. Oh, and you're... writings on the wall from Spectre. Oh, wow. Wow, um, no, uh, see you again. For achievement in cinematography, the nominees are Carol, The Hateful Eight, huh. Mad Max, Fury Road, Ooh. The Revenant, and Sicario. Huh. For Best Documentary Short Subject, the nominees are Body Team 12, Chow, Beyond the Lines, uh, Claude Landsman, Spectres of the Shore, A Girl in the River, The Price of Forgiveness, and Last Day of Freedom. I haven't seen these, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Best documentary feature, the nominees are Amy, Cartel Land, The Look of Silence, What Happened, Miss Simone, and Winter for Five, Ukraine's Fight for Freedom. For achievement in costume design, the nominees are Carol. That looks nice. Cinderella. I knew that was going to happen. The Danish Girl. Mad Max Fury Road. Oh, wow. And The Revenant. I knew Cinderella was going to be nominated, but Mad Max Fury Road. Achievement wow. in sound editing. The nominees are... Mad Max Fury Road is going to be on there. Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> <laughs> the Martian. The Revenant. Sicario and Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars Awakens. Star Wars. For achievement in sound mixing, the nominees are Star Wars is gonna be nominated. Bridge of Spies and Mad Max. Mad Max Fury Road. The Martian. The Revenant. And Star Wars: The Force Awakens. For achievement in makeup and hair styling, the Mad nominees Max. are Mad Max Fury Road, the 100-year-old man who climbed out a window and disappeared, and the Revenant. Wow, no Black Mass or Danish Girl? Live-action short film. The nominees are Ave Maria, Day One. Everything will be okay. Alles wird gut. Shock. And stutter. For best animated short film, the nominees are Bear Story. I hope Lava gets nominated. Prologue. Sanjay's Super Team. Ooh. We can live without Cosmos. Come on, Lava. And World of Tomorrow. Aw, oh, Lava made me tear up twice. For Best Animated Feature Film, Ooh. the nominees are... Inside Out. Anomalisa. Ooh, I want to see that. Boy and the World. Inside Out. Yeah. Shaun the Sheep Movie. Huh. And When Marnie Was There. Oh, wow. No good dinosaur, though. 
I was. I did one. Stay tuned for the second part of our announcement with Academy President Cheryl Bon Isaacs and John Krasinski. Thank you. Academy President Cheryl Boone Isaacs and John Krasinski. I wonder if, um, welcome. What an exciting morning. Thank you, Guillermo and Aang, for kicking it off. John, let's continue. For performance by an actor in a supporting role, the nominees Come are on, Sylvester Stallone. Christian Bale in The Big Short. Huh. Tom Hardy in The Revenant. Come on, Stallone. Mark Ruffalo in Spotlight. Mark Rylance in Bridge of Spies. And Sylvester Stallone. Oh, man! He's going, oh, my God. This is awesome. Performance by an actress in a supporting role. The nominees are Jennifer Jason Lee, The Hateful Eight. Oh, uh, oh. Rooney Mara in Carol. Rachel McAdams in Spotlight. Alicia Vikander in The Danish Girl. And Kate Winslet in Steve Jobs. Huh. For achievement in visual effects, the nominees Ooh. are Ex Machina. Huh. Oh, Mad tonight. Max Fury Road. That's probably going to win. The Martian. The Revenant. And Star Wars The Force Awakens. Star Wars. No Avengers, though. For achievement in film editing, the nominees are The Big Short. Mad Max Fury Road. This is nominated for. Oh, The Revenant. Spotlight. And Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Man, Mad Max is killing For it. For achievement in production design, the nominees are... Let me guess, Mad Max. Bridge of Spies. The Danish Girl. Mad Max, Fury Road. <laughs> what did I tell you? The Martian. And The Revenant. No Star Wars, though. Eh. For adapted screenplay, the nominees are... Charles Randolph and Adam McKay for The Big Short. Wow! Nick Hornby for Brooklyn. Phyllis Naj for Carol. Drew Goddard for The Martian. And Emma Donahue for Room. For original screenplay, the nominees are Matt Sharman, Ethan Cohen, and Joel Cohen for Bridge of Spies. Alex Garland for Ex Machina. Pete Docter, Meg Lavogue, Josh Cooley, and Ronnie Del Carmen for Inside, Inside Out. Out. Josh Singer and Tom McCarthy for Spotlight. And Jonathan Herman, Andrea Burlock, Ashley Savage, and Alan Wankus for Straight Out of Compton. Whoa! Holy! For original score, the nominees are. Come on, John Williams. For Bridge of Spies. Come on, John Williams for Star Wars. Carter Burwell for Carol. Ennio Morricone for The Hateful Eight. Johan Johansson for Sicario. Come on, Star Wars. And John Williams for Star Wars. Yeah! Awakens. John Williams is awesome. And the nominees are from Colombia, Embrace of the Serpent. From France, Mustang. From Hungary, Son of Saul. From Jordan, Thebe. And from Denmark, A War. For achievement in directing, the nominees are Adam McKay for The Big Short. Whoa. George Miller for Mad Max Fury. Whoa. Road, Alejandro G. Inyaritu for The Revenant. Lenny Abrahamson for Room. And Tom McCarthy for Spotlight. That means Mad Max could get nominated for Best Picture. For a performance by an actress in a leading role, the nominees are Kate Blanchett in Carol, yeah. Brie Larson in Room, Jennifer Lawrence in Joy, Charlotte Rampling in 45 Years, and Saoirse Ronan in Brooklyn. 
performance by an actor in a leading role. The nominees are... Come on, Johnny Depp. Brian Cranston in Trumbo. Mm. I haven't Matt seen... Damon in The Martian. Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. Michael Fassbender in Steve Jobs. And Eddie Redmayne in The Danish Girl. Uh, I, I don't know. Come on. And finally, we are pleased to announce the film selected as the Best Picture nominee. They are... The Big Short, Brad Pitt, Dee Dee Gardner, and Jeremy Kleiner, producers. Bridge of Spies, Steven Spielberg, Mark Platt, and Christy McCosco-Krieger, producers. Brooklyn, Panola Dwyer, and Amanda Posey, producers. Mad Max Fury Road. Whoa! Doug Mitchell and George Miller. Holy! The Martian, Simon Kinberg, Ridley Scott, Michael Schaefer, and Mark Huffam, producers. The Revenant, Arnon Milshon, Steve Gollan, Alejandro G. Ayati Tu. Matt Nurch is nominated for Best Picture. Producers. Room, Ed Guiney. There's probably no chance that Star Wars is going to be nominated. <laughs> Michael Sugar. There's only Cohen, eight. Nicole Rock. Eight. And Bly Pagan Faust, producers. For the complete list of all the nominations, please visit Oscar.com. And join us Sunday. You have eight. You can do ten. Great these incredible artists and films at the Oscars with our host Chris Rock. See you then. Mad Max, an action film, is nominated for Best Picture. When it comes to the visual effects, Mad Max is probably gonna win. No Avengers though. Avengers Age of Ultron. I mean, I thought it had. I mean, I thought it had really good visual effects. And actually, now that I think about it, Avengers Age of Ult uh, Avengers Age of Ultron is now the first movie that has Iron Man in it that hasn't been nominated for best visual effects. Go ahead, check it out. Iron Man, Iron Man Two, The Avengers, Iron Man Three. All of them have Iron Man in it, and all of them have been nominated for best visual effects. But not Avengers Age of Ultron. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying this is the first time it's happened. This is the first time since 2011 that any Marvel movie hasn't been nominated for an Oscar. I mean, I'm glad Eddie Redmayne's nominated for Best Actor again. Although I don't think he's going to win. I mean, mostly because people are praising Leon Leonardo DiCaprio's performance. And, uh, and plus, Eddie Redmayne just yesterday got his first Razzie nomination for Worst Supporting Actor for uh, Jupiter Ascending. A uh, pretty good list of nominees. I mean, Good Dinosaur didn't get nominated, but so that's a, that's a little bit of a shocker. And But Inside Out, I hope it wins. I mean, it is a fantastic film. I love Inside Out. I think Anomalisa might just be um, the first R-rated animated film to be nominated for Best Animated Film. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I mean... You know, it's, uh, pos I mean, it's possible. I'll, I'll probably look it up later. So that was the Oscar nominees. Um, I'm fairly pleased. Especially the fact that Mad Max is nominated for Best Picture. I mean, again, I have to see this. Especially now that, since uh, it's nominated for Best Picture of the Year. So, what do you think of uh, the Oscar nominations? And who would have you nominated for any certain categories? Let me know in the comments, and if you want to see more, click this.